Hey, how's it going guys? This is your boy Haste, and today we're going to be doing some 2v2 scrims, gearing up our buddy for some raid arenas in the future. Uh, basically, this, this guy's name is uh, OG Perps. He's a complete savage on a holy pal. It's going to be awesome doing twos with these guys. It's actually quite an honor since he's a 3k experienced PvPer, which is just out of this world. There's only a couple handfuls of people that actually achieve that. So let's jump into this guys and uh, smash some people. Going up against Windwalker Feral. I'm uh, just going to open up on Windwalker. Going to dispel his uh, little shields. I'm going to switch to Feral. Well, why am I going to switch to Feral? Believe it or not, out of those two, the Feral is definitely going to be my kill target. I'm just going to get rid of Feral buff right there. I'm going to burst right now. Going big ham on Feral. Feral just took 120k to the face in arena. Completely globaled him. Um, that's going to be GG for that match. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm left speechless right now. We just saw 120k freaking Frost Strike in Arena. In Arena. Like, I don't even know what to say. Nice. He knew. Oh, that was a perfect bop. He, took, he used bop to get rid of Karma. That was, that's amazing. Now, that's Skittles right there. I, I only know two Paladins that actually do that in Arena. Two Paladins. He's one of them. Now, that's awesome. Going up against, it looks like, I think it's the, like the third time we fought this team. Uh, gonna just kind of, I, I, I threw an interrupt on the mage just to, just to kind of pick on him. There was no real meaning for it. It was probably hurt us in the long run, but I did it just to be like, yo dude, I just caught your interrupt. This guy just runs every time at the beginning. He's like, get away from him. Don't get near him. There's a poly. Looks like the mage is actually going to focus on, uh, Trying to get his spells on me, or uh, Polly's on me more this round. Probably since that last round didn't turn out that great. I'm actually going to switch to Mage for a second. We haven't done this to the team yet, so it'll be funny to see how they react to it. Um, I'm definitely not going to use that Mage as the kill target, because, I mean, it's basically laughable trying to focus a Mage uh, when he has a healer in any type of arena situation. He's going to go in. I believe he just trinketed that. Um, I'm going to be able to catch that interrupt, going to call AMS and actually burst here. Throwing in big damage on this priest, trying to dispel. He popped pain suppression. Going up, not going to be able to interrupt that. We don't have interrupt, just keeping up some dispels. Uh, if we had an interrupt, that would be GG. But it looks like we may still get it, though. I've got desecrated ground. I've got grip. Um, trying to dispel that, going right through shield. Throwing up uh, soul reaper. We got stunned still. We got stunned still, but we still got out of it. Ah, that was stunning mage. Healing ourselves. Big heals, big heals, big heals, big heals, big heals. Give me all them heals. Alright, back up to full. Stole Mage's Frostfire. <laughs> big damage, big damage on Mage. Good game. Going up against Double Feral Druid. Ooh, spooky. I mean, one Feral Druid's scary enough. Two Feral Druids, that's just, that's just ludicrous. When are they going to open? All right, we got one of them dispelling. Oh, actually going to desecrate a ground right here to make sure we don't get hit in any more of those cyclones. Going to actually switch to the other druid. Reason four is because he has not popped CDs or anything. That's basically going to put him in the place where he can get globaled. And that's GG Mr. Druid. Going up against Pharaoh Druid and Holy DK. Uh, I'm gonna start off on the Unholy DK and then switch to the Druid. Just covering my sides right here. He's gonna try and run off to the other side. Looks like he's going Blood Presence. Come on, come on! Don't be stubborn. It looks like Pharaoh's opening up over there. It's fine. I'll open up on either of these if he's gonna sit Blood Presence. I'll actually gladly focus Feral. I'm gonna peel Feral. Feral's popping cooldowns. Still fine because even Feral's popping cooldowns. Most likely, I'll still be able to burst through it. Um, Feral's going to run. Feral knows he's in a lot of trouble. He's going to vanish and actually try to kite. I'm going to grip him right here. Probably doesn't expect the grip. I'm dispelling those hots. So he literally has no healing as he's running away. He's putting him back up, too. He's not happy about those dispels. Uh, basically, just going to peel off that unholy DK right now. I really would like a uh, freedom. There we go. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Going back in on Feral, we got stun for him, we got Dispel for him, and then we're just going to nuke on him, apply Soul Reaper, and then uh, go for kill after that. Basically, 
He has no combo points because he played so defensive. And good game, Mr. Feral Druid. And Holy DK was like, I'm out! Going up against Survival Marksman. This is going to be interesting. One of them's just chilling there. I'll, I'll gladly go on the one that's Survival. I'm cool with that. Looks like they're actually both going to go on me, Ham. Not too worried about that, honestly. He's going to have to trinket this and or die. Let's see if we can get the turns. So we got the turn switching to the other hunter. See if we can get that global down very quickly. Um, that hunter's actually dead. That's not feign death. Good game. Going up against Frostmaze Just Priest again. I believe this is going to be the same people. So we're going to go in and basically do the same thing. Going to take off all his pre-buffs, his pre-shields. All that good stuff. I really want to take off that fort, so I'm actually going to uh, use some CDs to get there. I'm going to pop some defensive heals right now. Nothing too giant. Um, throwing in back pressure on the Disc Priest. Uh, dispelling his shields again. He's throwing them up. He may have learned his uh, lesson last time from this. Very quick move. He likes to use them spit increase and try to juke. I actually caught that interrupt this time on him. Going in for kill very early. Um... We've caught most of his tricks so far. Can't get that. Wish he'd have an interrupt. There's pain suppression right at the end. He's going to have a flip after this. We almost had it there. Um, but we may still have it. Uh, going to trinket that and get out of it. Going to up. Didn't kick that. Nice little fake cast there. I want out of this. Dispel me, dude. All right. Awesome. Going in hard here. That, that Most of that stun was mitigated. It sucks because we had a lot of running power. We still might be able to get what we wanted off. Maybe. No, it looks like he got most of that pain suppression. Caught the kick there. We have uh, Soul Reaper tick in there. Soul Reaper for the kill. They're not bad scrims today. Some of the teams were fighting. are actually very viable teams. Good game. Going up against Dis Priest Frost Mage. Basically, I'm also going to uh, not going to get hit by that poly. That's for sure. Start off on this priest just like I did before. Same thing. I'm going to sit that poly since it's really not going to do much. I'm going to sit that next poly because again, it's not going to do much. Um, I'm going to come out dispelling on Mage, taking off Mage's buffs, and then of course I'm going to take off Priest buffs. Do not want Priest to have buffs. I'm going to actually. Use Lichborn on the opener and take this LOS here. Um, this Priest is basically just trying to stay away from us at this point. Just to maximize distance. I just took off all his buffs right there. That was actually what I was shooting for. And the first time we actually get a chance on this Priest, I believe he's going to be in a world of trouble. Especially since we just caught Interrupt. We're going to AMS and go hard on this Priest. Then I'm going to stun and go for a Nuke. Keep up to the spells. We, pop, he got, we got Pain Suppressors off him right there. I still think we may be able to get something maybe through it. I mean, it's kind of a long shot. But uh, we, we can go for it. It looks like he fake casted that one. Um, no big deal. Didn't expect that. He didn't do it first time. He learned his lesson. But now we learned our lesson. Alright, just keeping up the same pressure I can. He's spamming heal. Really wish Pally would come over here and kick one of those. Um, going off and hitting that presence. It's just staying in on him at this point. I'm going to stun him. Put in, uh, pressure since he has no bubbles up. Keeping in the obliterates. We can't interrupt that. Just keeping up pressure again, like I'm saying. This is all we got to do and keep up the spells. That's why he keeps using Flash of Light so much, is he knows that I'm just going to actually dispel it off. So I may want to switch to using more Howling Blast at this point, unless he starts throwing up more shields. Alright, so here we're actually going to AMS and go in for a stun near the end here, which may put him in a very odd situation. It's going to be good. It's going to be GG. Good game right after that dispel. He had a good strat for fighting DKs. I haven't seen that one very often. It's actually when a priest spam heals, takes an interrupt, and then doesn't throw up uh, uh, shields because he knows that I'm going to dispel the, dispel the living crap out of him. Very interesting strat. Do we can steal his blink? Nope. Good game. Going up against Dispriest Arms Warrior. 
Basically, you're just going to start out dispelling the living crap out of that priest. I'm also going to dispel off of the uh, warrior, of course, too. Um, he's just going to run from us right now and try and get as far away as possible. But basically, I'm going to use uh, the Oblit Dispel spec against this priest um, just to put in a lot of pressure and also keep up a lot of pressure. This priest is probably going to pop defensives uh, here. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Probably not quite yet. I didn't blow any CDs there. I really didn't want to blow them that early on a priest. Probably should have, but that's fine. I can just keep dispelling this warrior and actually put pressure in on him too. And really just kind of make this team sour. Alright, so this is where we're going to keep dispelling like I just said. Of course, I'm going to pop some cooldowns and actually go ham on this priest. Because uh, it seems like we're not doing it much with what we're doing here. So keeping up the dispels and the pressure, of course. Why isn't this bubbles popping off? Like, that doesn't make sense. Dispel, bubbles, dispel when we hit you with dispel, I'm telling you. <laughs> There's pain suppression. We actually forced it um, without blowing major cooldowns. We're going to have another line of cooldowns that actually offsets it. Which is going to give us uh, quite the advantage here soon. Going to uh, there's trinket. We got trinket off of him very quick. We're going to just stay in on him, not having interrupt yet for that. That could have been uh, a very good, very good play, but we did not have it at that point. Going to catch that interrupt, putting in pressure with that obliterate to try and get a little more dispels coming off, and he's going to be in a lot of trouble here. He also knows it. Um, coming in with burst, I don't have dispel quite or interrupt quite yet. I'm gonna have stun here. Three, two, one, throwing in big stuns. Going to uh, go ham on him. Dispel, keeping up pressure as he tries to run. I do not got grip, but I do got chains. I just need to keep in pressure, getting out of that. I need I need an interrupt from Pally. I need a stun from Pally at the right time to get this kill. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We got the next stun right here. He, th this warrior knows that I've got this win. That I've got this win. This warrior already knows it. The amount of pressure I'm putting out. This fight would, uh, this fight's going to go into dampening for sure. Just keeping dispels on him when I'm at range. The more dispels we have, the harder it is to have him peak his health off. And the easier it is for us to get through all of his uh, major CDs. We do not have anything big. We have cooldowns. I'm going to have to stun him in range here. He's going to stun me. Warriors are at this moment. is literally just trying to peel. Because that priest is going to be in such a bad position here in a couple of moments. Catch an interrupt on that. And uh, just trying to stay in on priest. Come on dot tick so we can get back in. And that's going to be the end of priest. Just got to keep up the major dispels. Major dispels. Major dispels. Good game. Going up against Frost DK Rep Pally. Got us some Vanguards coming in. This is the comp I actually usually like to play, uh, say, 90% of the time. So what we're going to do is actually dispel off everything off that Pally to make it so he doesn't have those freedoms anymore. And then we're going to come in and go ham on him and burst and keep dispelling every little thing that Pally gets. Basically, it's going to make it so he doesn't get major healing he doesn't get away from us. We keep pulling him back in. And soon enough, he's forced to bubble or he just dies like that. It's all about them dispels sometimes, guys. All about them dispels. People tell me that problem killing pallies and duels. Same thing, guys. If you can keep a pally dispelled, you've got that duel in the bag, like, already done. Good game.